Welcome back. Let's continue on with our free series on working with addictive drums from RecordingSchoolOnline.com. All right, we've already loaded a kit, customized it, and created separate outputs for it in a matter of literally seconds. Now, what if we want to customize that kit further? In other words, we'll keep these drums, but what if we want to really tweak the drums themselves without actually having to go to ex external gear? Well, that's one of the things that's nice about Addictive Drums is we can do that quite quickly. I'm going to go up to Edit and click on that. And I've got the kick selected. You can select your drums from here. And I've got them, I've got it soloed by clicking on S. I'm going to click Play. And I can hear just the kick drum now. Now immediately we have a little mixer here, a mic mixer that controls the two mics that are actually on the kick. We can select between the mic closest to the beater or the front, and we can mix between them and change the relationship. Let's do that. Closer to the beater, we tend to get a little more snap. Closer to the front, a little fatter. But something's missing. Sounds a little dull to me. What can we do to actually make that sound better? Well, let's stop this for a second, and let's go down here and just click right here. What do we got? We have a bunch of effects that just popped up. N, envelope, and filters. Just for the kick drum. So once we have selected between our beater and our front, we now have the ability to tweak just the sound of that kick with all these effects. Let's take a listen and work with it a bit. Let's turn on our compressor and our EQ. By lowering this threshold, we're sending more through our compressor. And just quick settings, I'm going to go to about 40 milliseconds on the attack and let's say about 77 on the release. I'm bringing this down. We don't see anything going through yet. That's okay. And go over here. What's missing from our kick drum? Some snap. There it is. By adding some mid-range. Now this is all happening quite quickly. Let's add a little bottom. Nice. But boy, it would be nice to have that compression. Okay, we're going to go back to our ratio. And slowly turn it up. Once we see a signal coming through here, we know that the amount that is being compressed is what passes the threshold that we set here. And the ratio controls the depth of that compression by this ratio we see on the screen. Right now it's 2.14 to 1. And that's the amount that once it passes that threshold is being compressed. Now, by having a quicker attack, we're going to make it a little bit duller, but compress it more. We don't really want to do that. We want to allow some transients to come through. So let's set our attack to about this amount of time, 0.32 milliseconds, maybe a little longer, around 40, 48 milliseconds, 0.48 that is. And we don't want to release too long because as you can hear, all of a sudden, that gets just too even and too dull. So let's bring it back on our release time to where it still sounds a bit lively, is evened out. And there we have it. Now if we turn those off, we hear quite a difference. Bring it down more. That's more compression. A little more click. Nice. Let's hear the whole kit. Really nice.
Okay, go to the next video, and we'll continue in this series. Thank you.